We are unboxing this product that we got to put together planters that will be raised beds. You can see it's a metal raised bed. Six in one modular, so you can do six different shapes. Yeah, so it's got the info here on the different shapes you can do. And we thought we'd do a little bit of an unboxing. So you get a pamphlet that shows you. The nice thing here too is it does tell you, we've looked at this before, so <laughs> we already know. Um, it tells you like how much cubic um, feet and yards and or yards that you'll need based on which of the configurations that you do. And what do we got there, Tom? We have vinyl edging so you don't have a sharp edge on the, when you're done with it. That's it nice. On the edge. Goes on the top edge. And then you get a bag, bag of bolts, nuts, nuts and bolts. Very good. Washers. And then the panels. If I can get them out of here. these individual panels that are plastic coated on the front and the back. Okay. So you pull, pull the plastic off at, before you start building it. So those are the straight pieces and then you also have curved and then you get pieces. The so depending Is on the configuration it? The box? Okay. <laughs> you'd end up with two to make the, the radius on each side. Yep. And okay. Then the, then the three three panels for each side are depending, depending on the configuration that you build it in. So you get four of these curved ones. And six of those. And six of the straight ones. Okay. And again, this goes, this um, is a rubber that goes over the, and it's not that it's that sharp, but still, it's nice to have a little buffer you can do on the edge. So it's six and a half feet long by two feet using 10 pieces and it'll be 18 cubic feet. So you put each of these individual panels together and the top bolts have um, something so it's it runs across your hand very easily without hurting it. Um, so as the dirt comes up, those bottom ones don't really matter for that, but the top ones are nice. And then there's this rubbery piece that goes along the whole top edge. So it's nice and smooth and good on your hands. Here's our progress so far in filling up these raised beds. We've got two of them full and we're working on the third one. My assistant is filling this one and we're getting close. So we have one more to put together. So we'll have two rows here and then we can start planting some vegetables. You know, I've had pretty good luck with tomatoes. But I've had yeah. half the cucumbers die, but tomatoes, I've had pretty good luck with them growing. I don't think I got these wet enough. Probably not. <clears throat> You're always stingy on the condiments. <laughs> I want all the same type together so we can know which is which. Well, that's, that, yeah.
you got to have them far enough apart where the the, um, Cage. the cages won't smash into each other. That's why you, you can only get four in there. I was gonna show how we got our tomatoes planted and some temporary deer netting around them. We put that wheelbarrow in front of the one just because we didn't have enough of the netting. So hopefully that's keeping them at bay. But it's really rainy and hailing and sunny all at the same time right now. It's crazy. So for today's project, uh, Tom is working on a fence to line the back of our carport. So the nice thing is that will give us some privacy back here in our patio, our patio area. We have the barbecue and stuff, so when cars are going by and whatnot, we uh, will have some privacy. Today he's getting the framing done here. We had some pressure treated wood in our kind of overflow pile. <laughs> um, and some cedar pieces. So... First things first, build a frame. So we got one section all the way built with the slats on there. It's looking pretty good. And just more, a couple more framing pieces and then we can continue continue with the slats. And just to show from the back side, um, this is how it looks. We still have some tools and stuff because the project is going to continue. Let me just back up a second. So here we'll have the cars, you can see with my car here, back in and we just have a little screen. We did leave space between. Um, I just think that is nice because we can kind of look through if we're on the patio and see if anyone's coming up the driveway or pulling in. And we do get some pretty st strong, <laughs> as I trip. Uh, we get some pretty strong winds through here uh, that kind of tunnels through the carport. So we were trying to leave, you know, room, <laughs> breathing room <laughs> between the slats. But we did notice during some wind the last few days, um, it is moving. Even though we've got the posts anchored down into the concrete. So I think what we're going to do is add something up to the roof of the carport in the middle just to give it some extra stability and strength. So it's been a few days and I thought I would show you how the fence came out. So here's our patio from the, 
I guess I would call this the front side. <laughs> it's the side that we're going to enjoy here on our patio and looking out at our scenery. We've got this finished fence now and I think it looks really nice. It's going to kind of screen and give some privacy to this area. Um, we do plan on doing another section a little differently so you'll have to wait and see how that turns out. Um, but we'll screen off because there is a driveway just beyond the tree, the closest trees there. So we just kind of want to make this a nice secluded area.